What's going on YouTube? Jeans here back with another video for you guys. We are showing off Primarina in today's video. So if you are hyped, make sure you support the channel by smashing that like button and clicking that big red subscribe button. Seriously, goes a long way. This team was sent in by Adrian. Adrian, thank you so much for making this team. This Primarina team is sick and I cannot wait to try it out. On this team, we got Sylveon right here, who's going to be one of our special attackers with Pixelate and Leftovers, Exedril, and Incineroar for two physical attackers on the team. Exedril has that Life Orb moveset, and this Incineroar is rocking out with Fake Out, Flare Blitz, Darkest Lariat for Stab, and EQ for Coverage. Has Intimidate as its ability. That's going to be huge to throw out and drop physical attack for the opponent, and the Assault Vest to eat up some special attack. Then we have our two setup Pokemon on the bottom. We got Whimscott for the Tailwinds and Grimmsnarl for the Screens. This is actually a G-Max Grimmsnarl right here, so potentially we can go into his G-Max move, and it's I think it's called G-Max Snooze or something along those lines, but it's like a double yawn. It's a double yawn against the team, and we'll eventually put them to sleep. Then in the final spot right here, we got Primarina. I'm hyped to show off Primarina. This is the final starter that we haven't shown off yet. Primarina's rocking out with the choice specs, has Torrent as its ability, Moonblast is called for stab, protect in case we just want to protect up, and psychic for coverage. If you guys want to try out this team, rental code is at the bottom of the screen. If you do use it, let me and Adrian know how you do with it, and let me know for question of the day. Who is your favorite fairy type? Primarina is actually up there for me for fairy types, but I think Galarian Rapidash might just pass it. I don't know, Galarian Rapidash came out in this game, and I was very hyped for it. But guys, let's get rolling here. Let's get rolling. We got to hop onto the casual ladders. You guys know the deal. These Pokemon do not go live on the rank ladder until March 1st. And I know, I know you guys are like, yo, why are you showing them off only on the casual ladder? I just want to show off these Pokemon as they're new to the game right here. And then once March 1st rolls around, I will totally be bringing you guys ranked teams for all these starters. Like, for sure. So be on the lookout for them. Rental codes will be included in all that good stuff. But this team has a lot of good stuff with it. That Incineroar is just a beast. He can be a lead. We can lead so, much, so many different things. We can lead... The Whimsicott, obviously, the Grimstar, we can lead the the Incineroar with the Fake Out and the Intimidate to get rolling. It's just good. We can lead the Primarina if we really want to. It's truly spec. Like, if we know that he's going to go into something, we can always Dynamax and just do some mean damage right off the bat. But guys, if you want to catch more content from me, head to the link in the description below, Jeans25 on Twitch. My schedule is down in that link. If you just click on that link and scroll down a little bit, the schedule is down there. So I know a lot of people ask me, Jeans, when do you stream? Like, it's down there. Just click on that link, and boom, you see the schedule. You come hang out with me and all that good stuff. Let's go. First battle on its way. I'm ready. I'm ready to dominate and show off Prima Arena. All these new starters have been phenomenal. I cannot, I really cannot wait for them to be on the rank ladder. It's going to be so much fun and change up the meta a good bit. But good starter test right here. We're going to up against a Trick Room team. I can see him leading potentially um, Butterfree Hatterene. He doesn't really have a follow me Pokemon it, instead of Butterfree, right? Instead of that Butterfree, I'm going to lead the, the Incineroar. I don't think we need the Whimsicott. I really don't think we need the Whimsicott. Because we have the speed advantage until he gets the Trick Room off. So no need for that Incineroar. I could go into a Hyper Voice because I could potentially fake out, take off the Butterfree Sash and go from there. What do we want to do? What do we want to do? And our best bet would be going into like a uh, a choice spec scald, unless he brings that Milo tick. Ooh, I don't know. What would be our best bet? We'll figure it out. We're gonna bring Primarina in the back end. I kind of want to lead it, but then I don't want to at the same time. We're gonna be setting up our screens with the Grimstar. Go Incineroar into the Grimstar for the lead. Primarina in the back end and Sylveon or Exegol. I think Exegol would be the best bet. He covers a lot and he can do some mad damage all around. So we're gonna go Exegol here. Let's get it, guys. Let's get it. Primarina is just chilling in the back with that choice specs. Big special attacker. Hype, hype, hype. If I can start, like, pulling things off, getting her in there, potentially Dynamaxing with her, we can do some big damage. Big damage. It's a huge special attacker. Special attack stat is, like, way better than a lot of Pokemon. But let's go. Who's he starting? It's got to be the Butterfree Hatterene, right? It's got to be Butterfree Hatterene. What you want? Butterfree Ferrothorn. Okay. Potential Protect coming out from the Ferrothorn. Potential Protect. Or a Leech Seed. Oi, Lee Cheat. I'm still... Uh, I'm still going to fake out the Butterfree. I'm still going to fake out the Butterfree. The Intimidate's going to pop. It's going to do some work on that uh, Ferrothorn because he is physical attacking. But I can see a Leech Seed coming from him. I'm going to fake out the Butterfree. Butterfree, get out of my face. You get fake out. And what do I set up? Do I set up the Reflect? Hmm. But I could just go for a Sucker Punch or a Spear Break. I'm just going to set up the Reflect because I know my Incineroar should be faster than that Butterfree. So, in that case, see, the Protect. I knew the Protect was coming from the Ferrothorn. I knew it. And the Sleep Power is going to try to come across. But we're going to be able to get off this Fake Out. And we're going to be able to set up a Free Reflect. And then go into a Flare Blitz and take out the Butterfree. That is huge. That is honestly huge. 
So good call by me to go in here. Oh, and I forgot to say that the Incineroar and Primarina are shiny. Adrian got these boys shiny. It is just a big flex. It is dope, though. But Flareboy's going to fly through on the Butterfree now. And I can just go for a... I don't really want to set up a Light Screen just yet. I'm going to drop a nice little Sucker Punch over on the Ferrothorn just to do some damage. Just to do some damage to him. Sucker Punch going to pop out here. Oh, he's going for a Leech Seed. Should have known that. Sleep Powder. Oh, you outspeed me? What you mean? You outspeed my Incineroar, you fast little bug. You fast little bug. That is so annoying. Leech Seed's going to pop out on my... Oh, it's a Stealth Rocks. Ooh, he's setting up Stealth Rocks. Dang, man, I actually told Adrian to take off Rapid Spin and put Protect on. <laughs> oh, man, that stinks. But we got to get this thing out the way. I guess we'll just go for a Spirit Break on it. I got to start doing some damage to it. It's kind of a lightweight considering how much Fake Out did. That's a big amount of damage. He might swap. At least he's not going for that Trick Room. I think he's just going for that Sleep all around. Bug Buzz is coming out against my Grimmsnarl. Grimmsnarl eats that up all day, baby. No Sleep Out. Incineroar with the Wake Up! Ew-wee! Ew we get out of here. Bye, Butterfree. Butterfree's gone. Get him out of here. Get him out of here. Okay, now I can set up the light screen and eventually get Primarina in here to get a Dynamax rolling. Nice. Spirit Break's going to come flying across. Not going to do too, too much damage. It's not very effective, and this Ferrothorn is a tank. But we do get the... Oh, special attack fall. Eh, that's nothing. He's a physical attacker. Iron Barbs does some damage to us, and man, the Rocky Helmet. Wow, our Primarina is going to come up clutch with this thing against this uh, Ferrothorn. Because this thing has Iron Barbs and the what's it called? And the Rocky Helmet. So that's big damage. Luckily, we were holding a Babiri Berry there. Survived us for that Gyro Ball. Now we can get another turn and be able to get off this Light Stream. See, Milo Tick does pop through. Milo Tick. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Milo Tick. I'm predicting the Protect coming out from the. What's it called? I'm predicting the Protect coming out from the Ferrothorn. So I'm going to get off a Light Screen and a nice little Darkest Lariat over on the Milo Tick. Before one of my Pokemon go. Because you know one of them are going this turn. You know it for a fact. There's to protect the reeds, baby. The reeds. What you want? What you want? We can read you all day, my dude. We can read you all day. You're easy. You are easy. You're like a children's book. You are like the cat in the hat or green eggs in hand. I just know you like the back of my hand, dude. Get out of here. Boop. Nice little Darkest Lariat. Does some nice damage. Aqua Ring's going to pop. That's pretty solid. Going to give it some health. It's like, it's like an extra little leftovers. So if this thing is leftovers, is it? Is that leftovers or is that the ring let's see that is leftovers and then the rings gonna come in so that's a little bit of double leftovers kind of that's that's a little scary um i'm just gonna try to get a flare blitz off on this ferrothorn and potentially take it out and then and then how many turns left in the screen i know we are not light clade so we have one more turn in the reflect they have a stealth rocks up which is kind of scary might just drop a spirit break here yeah let's just go for a spirit break over on the milotic to deal damage because you know the flare blitz is gonna take it out here comes the Dynamax in the Milo to take out my Incineroar. That's totally fine. That is totally fine by me. We are chilling. Ferrothorn's going to go down here. My Incineroar's going to go down here. We'll pull out the Prima Arena, Dynamax that thing, and potentially just start taking this game. The game's looking good. We kind of played this one very well with the two Protect Reads. That was huge. We got our screen set up. We chose not to bring the Tailwind Pokemon because we knew we were going to be faster in general. Let's go. Flare Blitz should say bye-bye. That's like four times super effective because he's Steel and Grass. Iron Barb's going to do a little bit of damage to us. And you are going to set the rain first. That actually works out for my Prima Arena. Actually, pretty well. Actually going to work out pretty well. But look at all that damage. From the recoil, we just did over 100 damage to ourselves. From the recoil, Iron Barb's, and Rocky Helmet. Like, jeez, man. Cinnamon's going to drop. Like I said, let's roll out with the Prima Arena. We can set up another ref Reflect if he pulls out another physical attacker. Because he has two Pokemon left. He has two Pokemon left. If it's a physical attacker, I'll drop a Reflect. If not, I'm going to throw an attack move. See, Spirit Break. How much damage are we doing? Poo-poo damage. That was poo-poo damage, but big special attack drop and big special attack boost with the competitive Myotic. That's rather scary. And there goes its leftovers, and its Aqua Ring is going to give it some more health. So do I double into this thing with, like, a Sucker Punch and a... And a Max... What's it called? And a Max Starfall? I think that might be the play. It really depends who he throws out here. It really does depend who his fourth and final Pokemon is. But look at this. Shiny Primarina looking awesome. Looking awesome. He's going to send out Wafu. I don't even know what that is. Okay, Hatterene. I'm totally fine by it. That thing is slow as buns. That thing is slow as buns. But we're doubling into you. Max Starfall. I do not see him going for a... What's it called? I do not see him going for a... Uh, a Max Guard here. I wonder what the Hatterene's going to do. Maybe a Dazzling Gleam? Maybe a Dazzling Gleam. But look at Primarina, looking all good, with the Goldilocks hair.
Looking wonderful. Come on, I want this match one. I want match one. I'm surprised he brought the Hatterene and he didn't go into the tricker. You guys know what I'm saying? Usually you bring the Hatterene, you're leading that, you're trying to get that tricker mode. But look at this thing, standing up on its tail. Thing's gorgeous. Stood up on its tail, has a nice little starfish in the hair. Sucker punch flies through. That's a decent amount and this starfall should go first and take out this Milotic. Big pre-marina, big pre-marina kills, that's what I was trying to say. Oh, what do you mean? Did like nothing. I did like nothing, but we should still be able to eat up a shot. I think it's because this thing is a, uh, thing's a pretty special defensey tank. Hailstorm's gonna come in on my Grimmy. Oh, on my pre Marina. That's totally fine. Bro, we eat that up all day. All day. What was that? What was that? Sucker Punch will be able to take out the, what's it called? Oh, I wish the geyser was still going. Good, so Dazzling Gleam pops. That's why he went after my pre Marina. He wanted to change the rain so I didn't go into a max geyser. That was kind of smart. And then take out my Grim Snarl with a Dazzling Gleam. Okay, that thing is Life Orb. Buffet by the Hails are going to come out here. I think it still buffets the Milotic, right? Take it out. Ooh, so close. Uh, do I take out the Milotic? What is my plan here? Or do I take out the, what's it called? The Hatterene. I think I just dump on the Hatterene. Oh, we still have the extra draw on the back end. <laughs> I'm going to just go after the Milotic then. Another Max Starfall into the Milotic and then send an Iron Head across. And that should be game. That should be a two tap, two little kill. Mold Breaker. Look how much the stones did to my extra drill. Five. It's not even worth it. It's not even worth it. But Starfall, Stab, going into the Milotic to finish her off. And then Iron Head's going to slide across. And match one is going to be in the bag. GG, baby. He just canceled it. Get out of here. Get out of here. You can't handle the pre-marina. You can't handle it. You can't handle it. Get him out of here. <laughs> well, let's go. Battle number two. We can start getting two there. And try to get another win here. We are 1-0. Chilling. Just chilling. Just chilling. But yeah, there are so many fairy types in this game now. Like, that's why I put question of the day. Who's your favorite fairy types? I like how they went back and added Pokemon who, like, they think should be a fairy type. And just give them the fairy type in there. I think that's cool. And fairy was such a huge thing when it was released in Gen 6. Because, like, dragons were so OP. Especially in the competitive scene, they didn't really have too much to counter. So fairies kind of dialed it down and kind of made everything just gel over together. And what is this? What is this? A Mewtwo and a Celebi. A Mewtwo and a Celebi. Do we need a speed advantage? Hmm, potentially. I kind of want it. I kind of want to go Whimsy Incineroar. Whimsy Incineroar into the Primarina. Definitely Primarina because Primarina is a beast. Primarina is a beast. Uh, actually, do I lead the Primarina and just get right off the Ripple? I can see like T-Tar getting the, the lead. Could go Primarina. I could go Primarina. But I, I feel like he's going to go either Roserade or, or Celebi right off the rip. So I can potentially just like counter that out with my Incineroar. And then who are we going to bring in the back end? Something to kind of counter off that uh that Snorlax. Maybe the Extra Drill. Yeah, let's go Extra Drill here. Let's bring another Physical Attacker. So kind of the same team, just switching out Grimstar for Wimscott to get that speed advantage, get that Tailwind set up, and get rolling from there. I'm kind of scared of the Snorlax if he brings it because you, you guys all know Belly Drum is like... You set that up, it's game over. It's just so hard to counter. You just have to counter it right then and there, not letting him be able to set up. But what you want? What you want? Bro, I knew it. I knew this was gonna happen. I knew this. I should have led my, what's it called? I should have led my boy. I should have led my boy or my girl, Primarina. But Intimidate does pop, which is huge. These are both physical attackers. That's pretty nice. We can set up the Tailwind. I can see him Dynamaxing the Sandaconda. Not even gonna lie, I can see him Dynamaxing that Sandaconda, considering it could be G-Max. Like, in normal play, I would see the, what's it called? Actually, no. In rank play, I would still see the Sandaconda. But most of the time, it's the T-Tar. Um, I'm just rolling to a Tailwind. Get that speed up. Do I drop an EQ? No, no, no. We're gonna fake out the T-Tar. I feel like the T-Tar is not gonna get Dynamax. I feel like it's more of the Sandaconda. Line. Oh, nobody's getting Dynamax. We'll just fake out the T-Tar. Bang, eat that, my dude. Tailwind's gonna pop from here. What is the Santa kind of gonna go into? Maybe a high horsepower over on my Incineroar. Let's see what happens. A minimized, you little biscuit. That's actually kind of scary. That could come in to bite us. T-Tar flinch. Uh, we could double into the T-Tar here. Uh, I don't know if I want to double into the T-Tar. I kind of just want to go for a Moon Blast and start teeing off on the Santa Conda. Energy Ball or Moon Blast? Hmm. Hmm. Both stab, both big damage. Uh, ch -ch 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 I said we go for the energy ball. Actually, lower special defense here. 
instead of lowering your special attack because it does nothing. Then we can just go into a Darkest Lariat over on the Sandaconda, which we could potentially miss because you can have that accuracy. Is that accuracy increase? No, not his accuracy. His evasiveness increase. But a little bit of damage over on T-Tark. Please don't tell me it's weakness policy. It is not. Oh, no, dude. This, no, no, no. Oh, no, 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 no. We missed. He's plus two on that. Screech is coming out. Dropping our defense. Ooh. I am terrified right now, to be honest. I mean, we'll, we'll just Dynamax and Punk on it once the Primarina comes out. Because we cannot miss that. We cannot miss with the Dynamax moves, which is nice. So, not too worried now that I think about it. Energy Ball. I might actually let him go. I might double into... Actually, I can't really double into the T-Tar. I can't really double into the T-Tar. Let's go for an EQ. But we'll try to hit the Santa Cana. We'll try to hit him. Maybe I should have just went into went after the T-Tar, but let's see what happens. Moonblast is going to deal a little bit of damage. Not, it's not going to take out T-Tar unless we get a crit. I don't even think if we got a crit, it was taking him out. But we do drop a special attack, which does nothing. And the Darkest Larry does pop. Oh, and we do land it. Get him, my dude. Look at that. Oh! Oh, I love that move. Decent amount of damage on him. He's going to go for the EQ. Oh, you're going to take out your own T-Tar, my dude. Oh, almost took out his T-Tar. Incineroar. I'll be able to take out the Incineroar here. Which is fine. Well, T-Tar goes for an Earthquake. Wow. Are you kidding me? He dodged an attack with that. Get out of my face. He dodged an EQ. You're a snake. You are a snake. That is totally chill. We're going to roll into the Prima Arena from here. I'm not even worried about the evasiveness anymore. Considering I just realized we have the Dynamax and we will not miss. We'll be able to take out the T-Tar with an Energy Ball. And then we'll be able to roll into our Prima Arena. Dynamax. Take out the Sandstorm. Potentially take out the Sandaconda and get the rain going. And just roll out from there. Yes! I love that sound. That's just such a cool sound. Moonblast flying across here. Free Marina, get after it. Max Geyser going into the Dunaconda. This is like Spanish Sandaconda? I don't even know. I don't even know. Dunaconda. Ooh, it's Sandaconda. So Duna is sand in some different language. Which kind of makes sense. Sand dunes. I don't know. <laughs> well, let's go. Free Marina. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Look at her. Yeah, stand on that tail. Stand on that tail, girl. Get it. Now she's gonna murk on you. Now she's gonna murk on this sand snake. Moonblast by T Tar. See you next fall, my dude. Get him out. Go on. Did Salamence get released? Or not released? Like, is he gonna be in the DLC? I think he might be. I know Garchomp is. But have you guys seen all the new buffs? There are like like a bunch of new buffs coming out for Pokemon when the DLC come out. Like a bunch of different moves too. It looks amazing. It legit looks amazing. Like all different Pokemon are going to be able to learn different moves. And be used in the competitive scene. So if you guys haven't checked out that buff. Just go look it up. It, there's so much information. There's a lot of information. But we do punk on the Sandaconda. Say bye bye. I told you. I'm not even worried about it. One Max Geyser from this special attack beast. Right here. Takes it out. And a Celebi comes out. And the Mewtwo. The double legendary. Are we going to have to punk on legendaries again? Getting real sick of them. I don't know if uh, legendaries can D-Max. I'm not too sure what that is. Uh, ch -ch -ch. I could sub. How many turns are left in my Tailwind? If it's one, if it's one, I am going to sub this turn. Let's see. Oh, we don't even have a Tailwind up. Never mind. It must have just petered out. We'll go for Tailwind now. Just so we can guarantee that outspeed. And the Max Geyser is going to fly across. Here's Mewtwo. Potentially take it out in one hit. As it's going to be big special attack damage. Stab and in the rain. Say night night, my dude. You could say night night, Mewtwo. We first a Mewtwo in the last video with the Decidueye. Absolutely punked on it first turn. Let's see if we can punk on it again first turn. That would be hilarious. Like two Mewtwo's not even getting a shot on us. Yeah, get him out of here. Go on, get out of here. <laughs> He's gone. He's gone. Selby's going to go for a life too. Nothing. Nothing. You thought we weren't going to kill you, Mewtwo. We thought you just thought we were going to take him down to half. I'm like, nah, son. We're not doing that. Then we'll go for a Moonblast and we'll be able to wrap it up with this Starfall. GG 2-0 in the casual battles. Which is type nice. Let's go, Moonblast. Dude, Selby's dope. Selby's so cool looking. Yes, sir. Actually, are we going to be able to take it out? I think it's going to be close. Do it. Do it, Primarina. Oh, my lord. So close. So close. That was still big damage on the Celebi. On a Celebi. A Celebi. Misty Swirls goes around the battlefield. And a Leaf Storm pops. Big damage, but Primarina eats that. Tasty snack, baby. That was tasty. We ate it up. We ate it up. That was like a breakfast meal. Let's get it. Prima Marina's still chilling there. Look at her hair. I like how they made her. Like, look at her animation just, like, standing there. They made her look like she's still underwater. Like, the way her hair floats and all that. It just looks so dope. But Moonblast is going to be able to take it out. Like, let's get one last look at Prima Marina. And show her off. I'm trying to see your hair float. 
Not Celebi, that's not Primarina. There it is, look at it. It's like our hair is just floating in water. So I really do like that animation there. Pretty cool, pretty cool. Moonblast. Yeah, ye. Bye-bye, GG, 2-0. Oh. We're gonna hop into third battle. I think we're going to potentially get four battles in, once again, in the casual battles. Because they're not that long. Because they're not as long as the rank battles. Like, the rank battles definitely take more, like, time to think. You have to think your plays out, think what they're gonna do, and it just... Like, rank battles, they usually take, like, 15 minutes. Like, that's, like, a, a kind of, like, a minimum. Usually, like, 10 to 15 minutes, when these are, like, 5 to 10 minutes. So, it's pretty nice. It's pretty nice. And then, granted, the rank battles, they could potentially go on for, like, 20 minutes. I had some matches go on for 30 minutes before, where it was just, like, stall at the end. Like, they just get crazy and annoying. But when you're high in ranking, you don't want to leave it. But third battle here, we're going up against a Charizard squad. Potential drought lead. Uh, I can see the Vile Plume potentially getting a lead with the... Uh, with the, what's it called? Vile Plume and a Torkoal. As you can get the Drought out, it could be double speed in the sun and then throw some sleeps out there. So I am. Do we really need speed here? Uh, yeah, we do. We do need the Whimsicott here. Uh, bum, 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 bum. I kind of want to go Incineroar again. He's so good. He's so good. I don't really think we need the extra drill here. I mean, extra drill could be good. Bum, 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 bum. Actually, let's not lead the Incineroar. Actually, the Fake Out would be so good. No, I gotta leave the Incineroar. The fake out is just too good. Pre-Marina, come on down. Then do we go Sylveon or... Yo, I kind of want that extra drill again. I kind of want that extra drill again, but Sylveon could be fun to show off here, too. It has the fire. It has the hyper voice, which is super effective to the Grim Snarl. Ooh. But, dude, the extra drill is just too good with that Life Orb in the back end. It's too good. Like, this, this, those four core Pokemon work so well together. Get the Whimscott lead. Fake out with the... Incineroar, then you have a speed advantage when the tail winds up, and you can roll out, do some big damage with the Incineroar. Once it goes down, you can roll out either into the Extra Drill, who's going to do big damage with its Life Orb, or the Pre-Marina, which is going to do big damage in its choice specs. Like, it's just a win-win on both sides. But the Grimmy Grim and Wim's Cut does get the roll. Actually, would have been nice to have my Pre-Marina out here. Oh, honestly, uh, bum, bum, bum. I can see the, what's it called, the Fake Out coming out from the Grim Snarl. I'm going to swap the Pre-Marina right off the rip. I'm going to swap the Prima Arena right off the Rippo. Get rolling with that. Set up a Tailwind. Because I can see the Fake Out coming out on my uh, on my Incineroar. So we're going to do that. Unless this thing is G-Max. But I want to get this Choice Specs out here. And I'm, I don't even think I'm going to Dynamax the Prima Arena. I think the Choice Specs damage is going to be huge. Because we didn't even get to show that off yet. We've just been doing uh, big Dynamaxes with it. Let's get our Tailwind up. We're going to go Tailwind for Tailwind probably. But I see maybe a Fake Out or a Screen coming across. Let's see what happens. Let's see what happens. I want to see what the Grimmy Grim's doing. No fake out. Okay, so is it a screen or are you going for a big attack move? What you doing? Double tailwind, like I said. Tailwind for tailwind. You going for a screen, my dude? Are you light clade? Are you light clade? Reflect. That's fine by me. Um, he'll probably go first and set up the light screen after this. But I still see us doing decent amount of damage. Uh, bum, 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 bum. Hmm, I'm just going for a moon blast here on the Whimscott. Just take off its sash and I'm going to roll out for a moon blast. Stab. Super effective. Choice spec. I don't care if the light screen's up. This is still doing some mean damage. Still doing some mean damage. Oh, gets the sunny day up. Um, good thing we're not going for a water move. Um, I might have to... No, once we take out this Grimstar, this could be rather scary. Light screen does pop. Okay. Okay, I see you, my dude. I see you, my dude. Let's see how much damage this Moonblast does. This... Not not this Moonblast. The second Moonblast. Should be doing a lot of damage. But there we go. Take off that Sash of the Wind Sky. It's probably holding up Sash. Let's go. Moonblast, Tree Spec... Oh my lord, Pre-Marina! Stop it! Stop it! I told you that was gonna be some huge damage. It's gonna be some huge damage. We are choice spec into this, uh... This, what's it called now? Oh, that Charizard's actually kind of scary. I can see him going into a grass move. To be honest. I'm gonna do... I'm gonna set up this substitute. Uh, I am gonna go into the Incineroar. I'm going back into the Incineroar. Because you know the D-Max is coming. Maybe I should just Dynamax the Prima Arena. Mm. But I can see the grass move and I could potentially waste out a turn as we are Assault Vessel here and start wasting the screen's turns as well. Prima Arena, get back here. You did your work by punking on that Snarl Snarl. We can get the Incineroar out here. The Incineroar. Yo, you baby. Is it D-Max Charizard coming in here? The Intimidate pops. That's fine. Doesn't really do much considering they're special attackers. And see D-Max him? Yep. Yep, he's going in with that Charizard. That Charizard. And I feel like the Max Overgrowth is coming, or it's the Flare. If it is the Flare, 
then my Wimscott will go down. Well, actually, no, it won't, because we're going to get this Substitute off. That's huge, too. That's kind of why I went for it, is to kind of waste out some turns with my Wimsicott. Let's see what he actually does. Get a little bit of subby sub action. Bring out the little toy. Look at that thing. It's like a little Larvitar. <laughs> Encore. Bruh, it doesn't affect me, my dude. That's why Incineroar is so good. Here comes the Wildfire. Solid call by us to go into that uh, Whimsy Whims. The Whimsy Whims. Yeah. Okay, so now I know he's going to take out my... Uh, now I know he's going by or after my uh, Whimsicott. I think I'm just going to uh, do I go for another sub. I think I do go for another sub here. <laughs> just waste this one out and then potentially go for a Flare Blitz over on the Whimsicott. Over on the Whimsicott. Because that would take it out, especially in the heat right here. It's bye-bye to him. I see another Wildfire coming across. Let's do it, baby. And we still have our Primarina and Dynamax in the back. But they're Extra Drill. Extra Drill could totally get the Dynamax with that Life Orb. Gonna withdraw the Whimsicott, and he's going into my dude. Hawk's Trusty, that's honestly fine by me. That is honestly fine by me. To be honest, that is huge. This this Flare Blitz might be able to take out this Tox Trusty. Unless, who are you going after with that one? Let's sit or eat it. Yeah, Assault Vest. Assault Vest helps us out a ton here. Assault Vest coming up clutch. He's gonna get the speed boost. Yes, sir. Solar Power is gonna take damage from him. Is he Life Orb as well? I think he's only solar powered. But Flare Blitz comes in. This may be able to take him out. Let's see. Yep. Big damage. Big damage in the heat, in the drought. Let's see it. And Sinor is going to kill himself there. That's that's rough news. Um, How do I roll out from here? Solar Power is going to do that. I see him rocking Overgrowth. E. Um, Tailwind does peter out. Both are Tailwinds. Good thing I did go in the substitutes. I could totally rock out into a Primarina, into a Tailwind. Uh, do I Dynamax here? I think I have to Dynamax here, to be honest. I think I have to. If I'm going to eat up a shot, I have to Dynamax and stop this drought. Because we are truly specced into the Moonblast. Oh no, I do not want to Dynamax you. We're going to set up the Tailwind. We're going to go Tailwind for Tailwind. And I'm going to just Dynamax. Go into the Max Geyser. I could have went into the Max Guard, to be honest. And maybe that's what I should have done. Maybe that's what I should have done. Because I can see an Overgrowth coming here. And then we could have ate up a solar power more easily than the the max overgrowth. But we're chilling either way. We're totally chilling either way with the Primarina. I can definitely see it. Unless he goes energy ball into max overgrowth. Well, the solar power is going to make it do a little bit more. But I still think we're fine. I really do still think we're fine. Let's see what happens here. Oh, we get it first. Look at that little quick stop. Get that substitute out the way. Tailwind popping. Tailwind popping out here. Yeah, yeah. Tailwind. We're gonna go tail one for tail. Oh, you go Encore. That's totally fine. We're gonna go down here to the flames probably. So my Primarina might be able to go first. That'd be huge. No? What you mean? <laughs> yes, for the overgrowth on my Primarina. Primarina. Can we eat up? Primarina, I knew you could. I knew you could. We get this drought out of here. Get out of here. No more solar power for him. Does he still say still take solar power damage? Even after the turn ends with something else, but he used it in the drought. I'm not sure, but let's see how much damage we can do. I don't know if he's going to kill it. Yeah, no, not in the drought. But at least he cannot go for a solar power on me anymore. So I can potentially just take it out and get rolling from there. Flames is... Two! Yes! Yes! <laughs> the best! Wimps of God survives another turn. Primarina might go down here. This is rather scary. This is rather scary! We do have the rain. The rain drizzle. Oh, shizzle. He cannot go for a solar power. I mean, he could go for an air slash to potentially take me out. Which is, which is scary. Very scary. Um, I'm just going to go for a... Uh, um, Encore into Tailwind. That's Wax Sauce. That is Wax Sauce. I could guard. Or I could just go into a Max Geyser. I'm just going to go into the Max Geyser here. I think you're going to take out my Primarina with an air slash and an energy ball. Oof. Scary, scary. Hopefully he misses this giant thing. I mean, I saw my drill. I do still have my drill, which I think my drill... Ooh, I don't know if my drill could take this on two-on-one. On Let's see. Wimscott is going to Tailwind. Oh, wait. Oh, that's my Wimscott. I was like, okay, that failed. <gasps> you hunk of junk! You hunk of junk! Okay, we can say bye, Primarina. This match... Oh, this isn't looking good for us. Oh, wait. He still goes for an Air Slash. No! 
Okay, drilly drill. I need drilly drill to come up clutch. Solar power is going to do a little bit of damage to it. Here goes the flames. Drilly drill. It all comes down to you, my dude. It all comes down to my drilly. We are 2 and 1 with this team. Well, we're going to probably be 2 and 1. Then we can hop into a fourth and final battle. Video is a little bit on the longer side. Might be pushing 40 minutes, but still, I hope you guys do enjoy the content. Hang out and all that good stuff. Oh, um, but we need the Charizard to go. We need Charizard to go, so hopefully he misses this attack. Hopefully my boy can come out here and do some work. Do some work, baby. Oh, uh, but um, Rock Slide's probably your best bet. Because if we land it, Charizard's going to go down. Wim Scott's going to deal some damage. Or we're going to deal some damage to the Wim Scott. But hopefully he's rocking like... What do we think he's rocking? Maybe Fire Blast or Blast Burn, so potential miss. Those moves have higher chance of missing, to be honest. Okay, here comes Tailwind. You're outspeeding us anyway. You have your plus one speed with your Charizard. Miss! Oh, Air Slide! <gasps> Is he choice? He gotta be choice spec. He has to be choice spec. So you're saying there's a chance? So you're saying there's a chance? Hold the phone, and Iron Head should be able to take this thing out. Charizard faints. We just have to eat up a shot here. We lose some HP. But we do get some HP back. Oh! Hold your bananas. I actually might be able to outspeed. That's an energy ball. Oh, this is... <laughs> gonna be close. It's gonna be close. He's truly specced into the... What's it called? He's truly specced into Air Slash. You love to see it, my dudes. You love to see it. He turned off his console. This dude turned off his console. You love to see it. Now we're not 2-1. I thought we were gonna go 2-1 there. Oh my lord, he was choice spec into that air slash. That is huge. That is huge. Dope, dope, dope. We're gonna hop into our fourth and final battle. Let me change my song. What are we going on to? Changing the song to Um ba -ba 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 -ba. Gym Leader. I do like the gym leader one. Gym leader! Yeah. But yeah, that was hilarious. I seriously thought he had it in the bag. I was like, he's just gonna fire blast or blast burn onto us, but he was just like, nah, dude, I'm choice spec into air slash but i'm confused to when he choice spec into that air slash like when did he use that i forget when he actually did use it but he was choice spec into it let's go wait a minute wait just a minute yo no way no way guys this is adrian this is the guy who made the team this is the guy who made the team this is honestly hilarious are you kidding me? Are you serious? I saw Cheeto and I remember that's that's his in-game name. And now it's the same thing. This is him. This is honestly hilarious. Are you kidding me? Yo, let's go. That is so funny. What are the odds? What are the odds? If you are hanging out with me on this fourth battle, give me a little bit of hashtag what are the odds? Give me a hashtag what are the odds if you're hanging out this long. Okay, that is hilarious. I gotta go tailwind here. <laughs> this is so funny. This is so funny, my dude. <laughs> I can't take it. I don't even know what to pick right here. I want to go Whimscott. I want to go Incineroar. Exodrill Primarina. <laughs> this is so funny, dude. Like, the odds of this happening. The guy who watches my videos, who made me this team, to verse on the rank ladder with the same team. That is so funny. He's probably like, no way, this is Jeans. And then he realized his team, and then he looked at the trainer card. He's like, yo, this is my boy Jeans. Yo, this is too funny. Whip's Cotton Incineroar. We see a little bit of matchup here. Um, Who's going to outspeed? These are exact same stats. These are exact same stats here. Uh, Intimidate's popping. <laughs> yo, dude, what is this? This is hilarious. I can't get over it. I really can't get over it. Exact same lead. Did he bring the extra on Primarina as well? Let's set up the Tailwind. I'm gonna try to pick out this Incineroar. Let's see what happens. I'm so confused of what's gonna happen here. <laughs> Who goes first? Yes! My Incineroar! I don't know, I think it's like if we both use the same thing, if we both go out like that, I think if we both use a fake out, then it's a what's it called? Then it will, uh, it's like a randomizer, it's like like a 50-50 shot, let's see who gets it. I'm gonna sub up our Whimsicott here. 
Uh, we could go for an EQ. I don't want to go to a darkest lariat, but. Dang, da dang, da dang. Um. Hmm. I really don't know what to go into here. I could just go into a Dark Slayer Eve on you, but I think I'm going to swap in my Primarina. I think Primarina is going to get the swap here. Hmm. <laughs> yeah, I'm going to get the Primarina out here. I'm going to get the Primarina out here. Because his substitute should be able to eat up his Flare Bloods. He's going to set up the Tailwind as well. In my opinion, I think that's exactly what's going to happen. We get our subby sub up. He's going to Tailwind. Let me go into our... We could Dynamax here. Or we can choose Spectrum to his Scald. Yep, there's his Tailwind. He's got to be going into a Flare Blitz against my Whimsicott. He's got to be doing that. Right? Did I make the right call here? Flare Blitz, yep. Into my Whimsicott. Whimsicott will eat that with the sub. Beautiful. I could D-Max right off the rip. I could totally D-Max. Um, but, but, but who do I think he's, he, he's bringing? Who do I think he brought? Honestly, the water move does work all around. Let's let's D Max and go into the water move. I can set up a uh, a moon blast. I couldn't moon blast into him, but I think I'm just gonna set up another substitute as well, and then go into the Max Geyser just to get the rain going. If he does swap out, then that's fine. He doesn't really have too too much to eat up this water shot, and then we'll get the rain going and go from there. And then we have our Incineroar in the back end once again to hop back out, intimidate, and potentially put another fake out. That's huge. That is huge. Let's go! Incineroar is withdrawn. That's totally fine. That's totally fine. It goes into the Primarina as well. That's pretty dope. We're gonna set up the rain here. The rain! Not the rain, yeah. Not the rain. Not the rain. Let's go, Primarina! Primarina! I just like Dynamax in her. I know, like, Choice Specs. You shouldn't really Dynamax your Choice Spec Pokemon, but it's just tons of fun. I'm just here having fun in some casual ladders. Like, if I all, honestly, if this was ranked, I probably would have saved it for my extra or went straight into it on my, on my boy, my Incineroar. Not with this setup. Not with this, uh, lead. Because we led the same exact thing. Did he bring the extra drill in here? This is honestly hilarious. Energy ball pops. We eat that up. Primary is gonna drop the rain. You're going to drop the rain. Yeah. How much damage are we doing with a max geyser on a Primary? I have no idea. That's honest. That's decent amount of damage. Now we have our own rain set up. And then what are we going to go in from here? Probably Energy Ball into the Primarina. I, th I said we double up on that Primarina. It's Starfall on it. Doubling up. Maybe. Is she going to Dynamax the Primarina? Like, you can protect your choice spec. That is your call. You're just putting the pressure on early on. Bam, 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 bam. And I think another Energy Ball is going to slide over. What are you going to do? I can see a Max Guard coming in here. That would potentially maybe win this, win Adrian the game. Do, 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 do. Oh, baby, what you want? What you want? He's confused. He's like, what do I do? Like, what do I do? Because I, like I said, I'm trying to put the pressure on. That's why I did Dynamax Supreme Arena. We can Dynamax put the pressure on. And he's going to Dynamax as well. We can potential KO here. Unless it max guards. That would be scary if it does max guard. I don't know who's going to outspeed. That's the question. Who is the fastest on the field? Who is the fastest on the field? We're really just gonna get some extra HP boost here. We can go into our Starfall. You're going first. You're going for another Energy Ball. Well, if you outspeed me and take out my Premier now, I'm gonna kind of be mad. Be mad at this. Nope. Here goes my woman, Scott. Come on. I want my Premier to go first. Show me a crit. Show me a crit. Go ahead. My Premier Arena. Do it. Do him dirty. Do him dirty. Yes, sir. Come on. Take him out. Take that out. That'd be huge. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. I really do not know how that works. So if you guys do know how that works, like, our stats are the exact same. It's the same exact team. Our speed stats the same. Is that just a lucky RNG that I got that first turn? Or really, how did that work out then? So if you guys do know, let me know in the comment section down below. That'd be huge. That'd be huge to know. But I'm so glad we went to a fourth and final battle. Just for this reason. We got the dude who made the team. That is the funniest thing ever. Hashtag what are the odds in the comment section down below. Like I said, if you are hanging out with me in the fourth and final battle. Ban it, ban it, ban it. Drill comes out here. Um, the drill could potentially outspeed my Primarina. Mold breaker. Mold, mold breaker. Mold breaker. 
Uh, do we still have, where's the Tailwinds at? Are Tailwinds still rolling? We do not have Tailwinds anymore. So I'm going to set up my Tailwind. And then go after that extra drill with the geyser. Go after that extra drill with the geyser. I'm not worried about the ones we got. I really am not. And Incineroar, I think we should be fine with our own extra drill. And we have our own Incineroar in the back end too. But let's see what happens. I want to get this Tailwind up. I see the Wimps got outspeeding me. And maybe the extra drill. So if he does double in, that could be scary. That could be scary. Extra drill is going to protect. We still can do mean damage with this. To be honest. To be honest, this could still do some big damage. Stab super effective in the rain. Come on. Come on. With the and it's Dynamax move, it's like base 130. Let's see, Wimpscott's gonna go energy ball. We eat this one up again. And we're gonna get our last Dynamax move off here. Which is huge. Oh, what are you dropping? What are you dropping? Our special defense. Okay, that's fine. We were probably going out next energy ball anyway. But Max Geyser, how much damage are we doing here? This is gonna be this is gonna be type nice. Let's see. Oh my lord! Oh! Pre Marina! Pre Marina! Oh! Jeez, dude! That is huge. That was huge damage. Through the what's it called? Through the It was through the shield, the protect. Absolutely marked on him. Absolutely marked. Now I am choice spec. He's probably gonna go for a tailwind. Or he's probably gonna fake me out, to be honest. He is probably gonna fake me out here. So in that case, I'ma just throw a moon blast over on the Incineroar. And I'ma just uh I'ma just get into a scald here. It's a fake out might be able to take out my Primarina. But oh my lord! That did some absolute work. Through the protect, just totally wiped him out. One shot it through the protect. I told you, this thing is an absolute beast of a special attacker. So he doesn't have his Dynamax. It's down to a 4v2 here. We're looking pretty good, but he's probably gonna take out my Prima Arena here. And then we can roll out to our extra drill. Or do we roll out into our Incineroar and fake out him? Let's see what happens. Tailwind, obviously. Tailwind. A little bit of Tailwind action. And then the fake out, right? Or are you just gonna try to take me out here? Oh, my Wimscott's going. My Wimscott's sending the Moon Blast. Get him! Milk! Let's do a little bit of damage. Just a little bit. Let's go back through our thing. We're gonna drop his special attack. He's going. Flare Blitz is coming through. On who? Okay. On that. That's fine. We can say bye bye to the Incineroar now. That's fine. I thought you were gonna take out my Pre Marina with a fake out or a Darkest Lariat. That's chilling. Pre Marina is gonna be able to take out the Incineroar. And that's gonna be game. That is gonna be just about game here. Let's go. Let's go. Yo. My boy Adrian. GG. Great match. Yo. Hilarious. That is hilarious that we ended up battling right here on my video like while i'm recording seriously what are the odds uh we are choice into this so we're just gonna have to go into a skull we keep doubling through he's probably gonna take out my uh pre marina so no sweep no sweepy but we made some nice reads by swapping out early and getting this pre marina in and then dynamaxing it and putting the pressure on him right away moon blast my moon blast does fly through i do not need my uh, substitute anymore hopefully this takes off the substitute does it yeah it does can we get a burn? Can we get a burn? The energy ball coming in here. Moon Blast coming in here on whom? My Wimscott. I think he wants my Wimsy out the way. My Wimscott does eat. I just think he does. Like, he knows I'm choice scarfed or choice spec. So he's like, okay, the Skull's not going to do too, too much on me. Oh, what? Br bruh. Wow. Prima Rita for the sweep. That was amazing damage. Not very effective, but it stabbed choice spec in the rain. Huge damage. Let's go, guys. 4-0 with this Primarina team. I really did enjoy this team. Adrian, thank you so much for dropping this team. It worked very well with the Wimscott and the Incineroar in the lead and having that Primarina in the back end. But, guys, if you want me to play your guys' rental teams, leave them in the comment section down below. You guys already know the deal. Leave the list of the Pokemon. Tell me whether it's doubles or singles. And if you have the EV spread, send that in as well. But, guys, that is going to be it for today's video. If you did enjoy the content, don't forget to smash that like button for me. And if you're new here, click that big red subscribe button so you know when my videos go live. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you all in the next one. Peace out, everyone.